Welcome back to the channel guys and I'm here today in Halifax with a different explore so we're going to be looking at the story behind this thing that's behind me now back in the very early 13th century if you was convicted of a massive crime you'd be sentenced to execution with this machine which is known as the Halifax gibbet which is an early form of the French Revolution's guillotine or guillotine whatever you want to call that Now, if you can just imagine today walking into a store or a shop, stealing something, being arrested, being taken to court, and next minute it's off with your head. That's how it used to be back in the day. Now, this device was used over a period of about three, four hundred years. So the first execution took part in 1286, whereas the last one took part in 1650. Now, this is a replica version of the original Halifax Gibber which would have been probably a better method than the original chopping block now apparently to be to have been convicted of a heavy crime due to theft it was only caught it was only thieves that were caught with goods 13 and a half i think that's dollars or more and it's equivalent to 10 pound in this day and age so if you had a tenner and you stole a tenner, it was off with your head. Can you imagine stealing a tenner these days? Now decapitations back in the UK were very, very common back in the medieval times. But this structure was quite unique to Halifax as it was the only town, I believe, that used the Halifax Gibber compared to the Axe. But it did continue to execute criminals for petty, petty crimes up until the 17th century. So the device, it consists of, of the axe fitted into the base of a heavy wooden block that ran between these grooves. And they were 15 foot in height and they were mounted on the stone base. And there was a rope that was attached to the block at the top, which isn't, there isn't one there at the moment, allowing it to be raised and after which the rope was secured by attaching it to a pin in the base, the block carrying the axe was then released either by withdrawing or cutting the rope once the prisoner was in place. Now almost 100 people were beheaded in Halifax between the first recorded execution in 1286 and the last one in 1650. But as the dates of the gibbet's installation is uncertain, it cannot be determined with any accuracy how many individual how many individuals died via the Halifax gibbet? But by 1650, public opinion considered beheading to be an excessively severe punishment for just such petty thefts. And then use of the gibbet was forbidden by Oliver Cromwell. The stone base was rediscovered back in 1840. And then this replica was built in 1974. Now the names of 52 people who are known to have been beheaded by this device are listed on the nearby plaque. So if I take you back to the information board. And just here, it gives a list of criminals that were executed between 1286 and 1650. So the first guy to be executed was the name John of John of Dalton. And on this photograph here, you can see the um, the gibbet in the early of 20th century, well, the stone base of it. So after it was rediscovered, and it took them a long time to uh, reinstall the repli replica. Now at the moment, the gibbet is under maintenance, so there is a fence around it. And obviously the blade has been removed, so I'm guessing it's just been uh, 
maintained somewhere at one of the museums. So here's just a little plaque rebuilt in conjunction with WM Shop Fitters, James Chambers, Calderdale Leisure Services. currently here at the Bankfield Museum and um, I've just spoken to the receptionist and she's let me come in just to document the original Halifax Jibber Axe. So as I showed you at the replica site that the axe has now been um, taken away for maintenance but this is the actual original blade from the early 13th century. So here's the how the gibbet would have looked. So there's the stone base that I showed you at the replica site. You can see the string that I was talking about, how it elevated the axe. And the axe is right underneath the wooden structure. And there you can see the beheading section at the bottom. So here, yeah, we're looking at the, that is the original axe that would have executed many of those criminals for those petty crimes. Here is just a, um, a drawn picture of events that would have happened during an execution. You can see how the prisoners tied down. There'd have been many men and many people and spectators. You would have had some sort of priest reading the last words. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you. The original Halifax Jibax. So as I mentioned at the replica site, it was, if any thieves were caught with 13 and a half pence, they'd be killed by the execution of the Halifax Gibbet. So you just imagine stealing 13 and a half pence in these days and being executed for it. Like I said, yeah, there were 53 recorded executions between 1541 and 1650. Even though it does state 12 86 was the first execution. So there were recorded executions. And it was mentioned about the life size replica being on Gibbet Street in Halifax. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed that little mini explore on the Halifax Gibbet. Please leave a comment in the box and like and subscribe to the channel. Take care, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.